Hello, welcome to everyone in this video. This is the part one to solution of the nanomaterials and application DSCA to paper for Calcutta University semester 6 2022 question paper. You can see the total question paper of this paper that is question number one a to g then question number two a to e then question three four five six seven and eight we want to discuss all this question in part by part today we want to discuss this question number one a to g so let's start first question says how does the band gap of a semiconductor change as it is reduced from bulk dimension to nanometer dimension when a bulk material, suppose uh, this is a bulk material and this bulk material transform into nanomaterial. Suppose this is uh, the nanomaterials, nanomaterials. Then what is the change in the band gap? Actually, you can see from this graphical representation that when the diameter of the particle reduces, that means if you want to go towards the nanomaterial, then the band gap increases. Then the band gap increases. Why? Because this is the quantum confinement effect. The electron and holes in the semiconductor in nanoscale are confined. They cannot uh, uh, moving. They are confined in certain region. Therefore, the energy difference between the failed state and the empty state increases. That means the energy gap that is the conduction band to valence band separation. This will be increases because the electron and holes are trapped within this region. That's why the nature of the band gap will be increased when reduce the dimension of the bulk towards the nano dimension. Next question says that is use Schleler equation to calculate the nano crystallinity. When diffraction peak is obtained at theta equal to 30 degree, having FWHM that is full width at half maxima is 0.8 using radiation of wavelength 0.154 nanometer, where the cellular constant is 0.9. Uh, uh, this is the cellular equation that is the grain size capital D can be obtained using this formula. Grain size means the size of nanocrystal can be obtained from this formula k lambda by beta cos theta at k is the cellular constant 0.9. Beta is the full width at half maxima that is the, in the XRD peak. If you consider the XRD peak uh, with 2 theta actually they obtain in 2 theta value. Uh, which uh, gives you like uh, this like of peaks right. So, if you zoom out one of this uh, peak uh, like that and the maximum value is I0, if you take the half of this I0 and this theta separation is known as full with that half maxima which is beta. So, if you put this uh, given data within this value, k is 0.9, lambda is 0.154 nanometer, beta is 0.8 and theta is 3 degree will be obtained to n strong or 0.2 nanometer. So, this is the nano crystallinity size. Next question says distinguish between shallow and deep level trap state. Actually, when this conduction band and valence band, they are in, in case of N type, there are donor level. In case of P type, there are acceptable level. This level close to the conduction or valence band, when they are closer to this uh, band, then this is called shallow trap state. But in case of intrinsic semiconductor, this Fermi level between these two gap, these two bands, so this is known as deep level trap state. So when the uh, energy levels between the mid position at the mid position of this conduction band and valence band, then it is called the deep level trap state. But when these uh, levels are near to the conduction band or valence band, then this is called shallow trap state clear next question determine the density of state infinitely dips potential well of with 1 nanometer corresponding to energy free actually if you apply this energy expression for the deep potential you will be obtained this value of n but i do not understand oh, what is the density of state we need to find out okay so if anyone can do this problem solve uh, you must comment in the comment box 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन से क्वांटम डॉट्स आर कंसीडर्ड एज द आर्टिफिशियल एटम एक्सप्लेन यू नो द क्वांटम डॉट व्हिच आर कॉन्फाइंड अलोंग द थ्री डायमेंशन दैट्स मीन इफ यू कंसीडर दिस आर द थ्री एक्सिस एक्स एक्सिस वाई एक्सिस एंड जेड एक्सिस एंड एनी पार्टिकल एंड एनी पार्टिकल कॉन्फाइंड इन द थ्री डायरेक्शन इन इन द थ्री डायरेक्शन एक्स वाई एंड जेड ऑल दिस थ्री डायरेक्शन is confined that is the length of this a this is b this is c if you consider and all these a b c are less than 100 nanometer that is range of the nanometer then this is called quantum dot and in case of the quantum dot the energy bands are discreted like a atom you know in case of atom in case of atom the energy le le levels are present here in case uh, and if you to as the upper side the gap will be reduced so there are energy levels but when uh, large number of atoms accumulated then levels converted into bands but in case of quantum dot these bands again converted into levels so the energy according to energy the quantum dot behaves like a atom because the uh, in case of atom the energy are levels in case of quantum dot also the energy are levels that's why the quantum dot considered a artificial atom because we made up made up by the human that's why this is called artificial atom you can see this is the conduction band of uh, any any semiconductor material this is the conduction band this is the valence band and in this region there is a quantum dot quantum dot this is bulk and this portion also bulk but in this between these two bulk there is a quantum dot that's why they are yeah, energy levels present here and this gap is reduced so that emit some light because their electron uh, hole transition here recombination electron hole recombination done here so i think clear about why electron dots are considered artificial atoms next question says state the basic principle of nemx nemn's full form is nano electro mechanical system that's mean a system where the nano sized material used for electrical and mechanical property functionally that's mean both function are active within this material so this is a basic principle of fabrication is the photo electron beam lithography and the molecular self as uh, assembly that's mean actually this uh, product that is fabricated by these two phenomena uh, that is the photo electron beam lithography or the molecular uh, cell assembly uh, uh, the material and uh, material which uh, have the both the electrical and mechanical properties are there okay next question says discuss the use of ball milling technique in ceramic process uh, processing very big actually ball milling means the there is a different size of balls within this globe and if you rotate that one this globe are applied with the wall and if there is any material you need to size small size then this ball are collided and this uh, this material form into powder form okay so this uh, collision collision of ball helps to produce powder form powder form nano sized nano material nano sized from bulk material bulk material so that is the that is the basic principle of the ball milling which are used in ceramic process why are you uh, used actually uh, the chemical or food industry where you need to on uh, sized small sized uh, material you need to product so if this is rotated and due to centrifugal figure force these balls are collide with the wall and in between this material is fractured this small size uh, a bulk and if you collide with the balls the size is reduced and then reduced reduce, uh, makes the nano size material so this is the uh, ball milling process technique use so 
so i think clear if there is any doubt you must comment in the comment box this is all about me this is my contact detail you can connect with this telegram channel and this is my youtube channel details go to this channel we get the five three related videos on mathematics like this session if you learn something from this session share this video to your friends so that he or she also get benefit from this video subscribe this channel if you need this channel those already subscribed thanks for subscription press the bell icon to gain notification of our videos so take care we will meet you in the next video as soon as possible thank you